A dichotomy is a division or contrast between two things that are or are represented as being opposed or entirely different. Basically what this means is that you have two elements and they are mutually exclusive of each other and in the case of making a choice you can't just go one way slightly and the other way slightly. You have to just choose one or the other. There's no there's only yes and no. There's no maybe or yes a little and no a lot and so on and so forth. This is something I've come across a lot with my personal character because as a dude who enjoys the company of others and enjoys feedback and attention, I like to socialize. Um, but as an introvert and as somebody who greatly values his personal time to do things of his own, I every now and then ha I have to retreat into the back cave and just stay away from everybody so that I can just be myself for a bit, for lack of a better word. I mean, both of them are both me, but like, I guess, I guess the more accurate word would be that I have to recharge. Um, it's kind of a weird dichotomy as a social introvert, because on one hand, I enjoy being put on the pedestal that my YouTube fans put me on. Because it means that people appreciate and listen to me, and they're willing to give me feedback on what I have to say. On the other hand, there are times where I just wish nobody fucking acknowledged that I existed and I was free to just be by myself. And not have to deal with any of the responsibilities of being, like, put on this pedestal as some popular YouTuber. I understand, let me be clear here, that 8,000 subscribers is not a lot. But, you, that's still, like, I have 300 people in my Discord chat, to give you an example. That's still, like, to me, that's a lot, as a person who doesn't socialize a lot. Um, so, it's kind of an interesting dichotomy and a contradiction of my person, that I need both of these things, but at the same time, I can't have my cake and eat it. So, why do I bring this up? Well... It's a lot to do with my frustrations regarding socializing in my own Discord chat. Um, because a part of me really fucking hates people. I just don't want to be around people. And people are so fucking idiotic and simplistic and morally depraved or whatever. That, like, every now and then I just feel like... I have this, like, holier-than-thou kind of feeling, I guess. Where I feel like I'm better than everybody else, and that creates misanthropy because there's nobody who's under who understands me. So at those times, I'm just like fuck everybody. I just want to be left alone. But at the same time, I need that attention because I, you know, I have feelings and I need I need them to be validated in a way. I need to remember. I need somebody to tell me that I'm not garbage or that I'm appreciated. And sometimes I can do that myself, but other times I really do value other people's feedback. Um, but yeah, lately I've been considering uh, no longer being a mod in my own Discord chat and possibly transferring ownership. Just so that I don't have to deal with the, like, the double responsibility of being this symbol of the community. And at the same time having the responsibility to keep everybody in check. Plus I feel like it'll give me some perspective on things because by not being a mod and not being the owner I don't get to see what the mods are talking about I don't have access to certain channels so I can sort of see everything from sort of like a, a ground perspective for lack of a better word like think of it as like as the owner I'm at the top of this tower with all my executives and we're at a table just like with our fucking fat cat cigars Talking about, yeah, this member is misbehaving. But now, it's like, like, to romanticize the situation a bit, it's like I was thrown out the fucking window, I landed down a trampoline, and my clothes are torn, and now I'm at the bottom of this tower looking up at it. And I'm like, I gotta work myself all the way back up again. You know? Romantically, there there is some appeal to that. Like, there are times where... 
I am tempted to delete my YouTube channel, but at the same time, I'm like, but what about all these people who enjoy my videos? What about me who enjoys my videos? And then I just stop. And then I consider making a separate YouTube channel for me to do my thing, but it's just not the same as when I first started out. There's a certain complacency to, like, knowing that you're popular and stuff, and knowing that you there's not really much of a challenge left to overcome, because what do I have to look forward to as a YouTuber from here? Basically, I get more popular... And then more people join my Discord chat or interact in my comments. And I assume at some point it will be very difficult for me to control. So I'll have to depend on other people to, like, moderate and so on and so forth. Like I already have with the Discord chat. And from there it's just further f and further alienation from my audience because there's just too many of them. So it's like the the initial challenge of like earning that respect has already been gained and there's a certain to you know there's a certain sadness to that you know I've I've in my opinion life really isn't worth living unless there's struggle to it you know um to me like I one of the reasons why I don't find heaven an appealing concept it's because the idea of eternal happiness doesn't appeal to me. I don't like being happy all the time. And the idea of being eternally just complacent and okay with the status quo, that's not something that appeals to me. That's I, I want something that's like, I want to struggle. I want to fight for what I believe in. I want to fight for what I want. Because there's no satisfaction in just being happy all the time or just like winning and having no opponent, you know? It's, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe there's something wrong with me, if that's how I like to think, but that's just how it is, I guess. That's what makes, that's what makes life worth living, in my opinion, you know? Just working hard and getting rewards out of it. Um, I think that's all I gotta say. I don't know what I'm gonna do regarding the Discord chat, but I felt like just broadcasting my thoughts to you guys because I understand that I don't really do that enough and I have a lot of like frustration and feelings that I want to tell people but I just don't do it even though it's something that's arguably very healthy for me to do uh, so I guess like maybe just look forward to more videos like this I hope this was interesting just I, I guess just <sighs> let me know what you guys think in the comments sorry if I sound like a bummer uh, I'm just letting off steam I guess Anyway, bye.